Good afternoon, YouTube. How are y'all doing? So, I went racing out in North Carolina last week. And I had a couple issues. First of which was oil control. Now, I was making a pass. I'll go over my data logs now. Okay, here we have the data log from when I was racing in South Carolina at Bowman Dragway. I think I said North Carolina in the video earlier. I was in South Carolina. So, right here you can see my RPM is basically at idle, 783. My oil pressure is 43. We come up and here I am on the two-step building boost. Right here I release my trans brake and my oil pressure is at 69 pounds goes up to 76 and then right here you can see it drops to 39 37 35 and it it just gets a little bit worse from there so seeing that in the data log was just the proof that I needed that I had to step away from the F body pan as you can just see my oil pressure went from like 70 pounds to 30 pounds which is a little bit concerning because it idles at like 40 so just this big white box in order to help us out with some oil control issues what's in the box what's in the box what's in the fucking box so we see Moroso. So let's open this up. All right, this is not from Holly, so we don't need those. We got a bunch of bullshit and shiny, shiny, shiny. So here's what we got: fabricated F body oil pan. New windage tray, better than stock, and pickup tube, which puts puts the oil pickup at the back of the pan where it belongs, unlike with the F body pan. So let's go ahead and get this thrown in the car. So after we get the old F body pan and pickup and windage tray out is to start throwing those guys in. As you can see, I've already got the windage tray here and the pickup put it into place. Then we go to the workbench that is cluttered up and we find a good spot to put this bulkhead fitting for the turbo drain, putting it in the same spot that it was on the F body pan. All right, so we're back at it again. I got the turbo oil drain put back in. I ran into an issue. This bulkhead fitting that I tried to use actually ended up hitting the oil pickup tube, so I had to go with a weld on instead. It's no big deal. It just I added a couple more steps on this process. So let's go ahead and talk about this pan real quick and compare it to the stock F body pan. The single biggest thing is that it moves the pickup tube to the back of the pan and has baffles that keep the oil in the back, particularly on D cell. On D cell, your oil is going to try to move to the front. Now the baffle and trap door helps to prevent that. But on acceleration, the oil is going to move to the back of the pan. The problem with the F body pan is that the pickup is at the front. It's at the front of the sump here. Most of you guys already know that, but some people might not and they're wondering why I'm swapping pans. That is one of the biggest deals. The other big deal is the windage tray. Now there's a couple slots cut into here so that any oil slinging off of the crank can go down there and not get uh, 
foamed up by the crank. But as you can see, it the stock tray only goes about three quarters of the way. Jump under the car real quick, and you can see that the Moroso tray comes a lot farther forward to the front of the timing cover and goes all the way back to the back cover. The pickup tube is a larger diameter and the pickup itself is has more surface area. Another thing that I did was I went ahead and put in the oil pickup tube brace and it uses both bolt holes on the oil pump compared to just this one on on the stock setup so two holes two bolts instead of one it just helps to hold the tube in tighter and make sure you don't have any leaks another thing is that with my particular engine uh, front K member and the oil pan and everything else, I could not get the stock, I'm sorry, I could get the stock pan out without having to do anything, but the Moroso pan, I couldn't quite get it in. It hit and interfered with the front tube, the steering linkage, and the uh, flex plate. So I had to raise up the motor. I don't know if you can see that down there. I had to lift it up about a quarter to three eighths of an inch or so. And then back to these pans. I know somebody's going to say it. This pan is filthy because I was in here grinding on it after I already had that one set and it was set away in the packaging. This one was just out on the floor after I had it open. So it's not that there's trash in the motor. It's I didn't really care. By the way, this pan pickup tube, windage tray, all that will be going up for sale. If you're watching this nine months in the future, I probably don't have it anymore. But if you're watching this tomorrow, I probably am. It's probably still for sale. So with that being said, let's get this pan in and finish up this install. So last bit about the install, I'm using ARP bolts for the oil pan and then installing the billet oil filter assembly whatever have you this gets rid of the oil cooler or, or bypass whatever you want to call it or platform that you have but this now bolts to the underside with two allen bolts and then seals to the pan with the o-rings I know some of you are going to say, oh, you can use the stock bolts, blah, blah. Sometimes you got to do some things or buy some things you may not 100% need in order to get that free shipping from Summit. They don't like me enough to, to give me free shipping for a $40 order. So it is what it is. Here we go. Everything's all bolted up. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Not too difficult. Once I got turbo drain fitting to clear the pickup tube back up top we got the engine support bar out engines all lower back down bolt back in place right where it should be hello motion race works we got a little bit of work to do we got put oil in it we got put wipers back on because it is street car then we be back out ready hit up track and verify that all this work actually did something